Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I'm in the middle of my blackberry patch in my garden and I have blackberries to my left and to my right or your left, my right, whatever. Anyway, so I want to show you today the number one secret to growing blackberries, how easy this can be. It's not that hard, but there is a secret. There is a tip that I'm going to give you when growing blackberries, especially, especially if you're using a manicured or a cultured type blackberry plant um, for your garden or for your homestead. I'm going to show you the number one trick to make sure you get the most production out of your blackberries. Let's go take a look. So the blackberries right now, we've had some rain, a lot of rain actually this early summer and late spring. And so the blackberries are plumping up really well. They're going to plump up even more. They're starting to turn colors. We don't have any, a lot of ripe ones. I did find a ripe one yesterday when I was out here. See, they're starting to turn colors, but um, it's not there yet. Uh, so we got some time. But they're, they're, you know, not much time. So it looks like the blackberries are growing fantastic. Let's see if I can find, oh, that one's not ready yet, but getting close, real close. So the way I have this arranged is I have blackberries over here and I have blackberries over here and I can walk down the aisle there. And then over here, this aisle may need to be cleared out again. I cleared it out uh, a few weeks ago, but yeah, we can basically walk down this one here. And... Um, so we just walk down this pathway and allows you to pick all the blackberries on this side. And what I have is all the blackberries running up these cattle panels. And what I do is I just weave them in and out of these panels every year as they grow the new vines. And that's where the tip and the trick comes in is these new vines. Let's take a closer look. Because you see how blackberries work is they are a two-year plant. So the first year the stalks come up and you're not going to get berries that year. The berries are going to come from that stalk on the second year. And so usually when you first get your blackberries, depending on variety, but at least with this variety, most varieties, you plant your blackberries and then you have to wait two years before you get your new, your first, you know, harvest of berries. So when that happens, when that new stalk comes up, there's a tip and a trick you can do to make sure you get the most production. So take a look at this vine. See this vine right here? This is a brand new vine. There's no berries, nor will there be any berries on this vine this year. And so what you do, this brand new vine, this is about an eight foot vine uh, from all the way to ground. I mean, you stretch this up, it goes about eight, nine feet in the air. So what you do is you take this vine and all you do is simply snap off the end. Watch, see, like that. Snap off the end, drop it to the ground. Now, what this vine is going to do now, it's going to see that, that, that cutting off of that tip signals the plant that it's in distress. And so it will produce new vines out of this one vine. And all of those vines that it produces from this one vine will also produce berries next year. So if I had not snipped off the end of that right there, this vine would produce berries next year. But what I've done by snipping off the end is make this one vine now multiply into maybe five or six more vines. And then all those vines will also produce berries next year. So you've basically doubled or quadrupled your berry harvest just by simply snipping off the end of this very long vine. And now what I'll do is I'll take the vine, now that I've snipped it off, and I'll weave it back through the cattle panels so, so that those new, let me go back this way, so that the, those new vines that this vine will produce will also weave through the cattle panels. Um, let me show you another example. This vine right here is a vine that I snipped the end off about two weeks ago. I came out here and I was snipping the ends off, which I do normally throughout the, the growing season. See how the end is snipped off? Well, look what's happening. Look at that. That's brand new growth coming out of that vine. Brand new growth. And look at this. This one vine is now producing multiple vines coming out of it. This vine sprouted. This vine sprouted. And when this gets to be next year's vine, this will also have berries. So not only will the main vine have berries, but these vines will also have berries. So again, you have doubled, tripled, quadrupled the amount of berry harvest you're going to get from one vine just by simply snapping off the ends of your main vines. And there's lots of these to do. And so you're going to effectively just get so much more berries by using this technique on your, on your blackberry plants. So right away, when you look at some of my blackberries here, you have a new vine, new vine. Some of these, the ends have already been snipped off. New vine, new vine. You just go down the list here and you just start snipping off, pulling off with your fingers. They snap off real easy. Doesn't take much effort. You snap off all the ends and then all those vines, you need to weave them back into whatever fencing you're using, but those vines will produce 
other vines, thus producing more berries. Here's another vine that I snipped the end off a couple weeks ago, and look, all this brand new growth here. Brand new growth right there. Brand new growth back there. See, all this brand, all these are all like down here. These are all new vines that are gonna be produced by snipping off the one end of this vine and just amazingly multiplying my berries. I love it. It's so easy to do. Okay, now let's just say you forget to go ahead and snip off your vines. Uh, and, and sometimes I do, I don't get to all of them, uh, but most of them I do. But if you forget and you go a season without snipping off the ends of your vines, your vines will still, still produce berries. And then the root systems of your blackberries will begin to spread and then they'll have new shoots come up every year. So all you need to do is if you forget one year or if you don't get to all of them, that's great. You'll get to some of them and that's going to double the amount of your berries. But, you know, if, if you forget, it's okay. The main vines will still produce a lot of berries and then the root systems will propagate and then create new vines uh, for next year. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to come out here and snip the ends off these things Ugh, it's really high up there snip off that one snip off that one it's like the japanese beetles are starting to come out we need to put our beetle traps up yep look at that we got some beetle japanese beetle damage right there um it's getting really close to time to put out the japanese beetle traps i'm going to hang those probably today but I'm um, just going through and i'm gonna connect, uh here's one way up there i don't know if i can reach that one good grief i gotta Get up there and get it. Ugh. But yeah, but see, that's right in the middle of my patch. If I hit that vine, snip that off, this is going to grow lots of new vines all throughout here. And it's going to be a lot of berries for the next year. And then, you know what you can really do? Say, look at this vine over here. This new vine here. When this gets really long, let's say this gets about five, six feet long. You snap off the end of that one. And then this one will also produce new vines. <laughs> so you see how this can just, you know, go crazy? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty pretty fascinating. That is the enemy of all blackberry producers, the Japanese beetle. Me and that me and that guy and his friends, we go to war every summer. And sometimes he wins battles, and sometimes I win battles. But we battle it out every single summer. I did happen to find one blackberry that was ripe, good enough to eat, out of the patch today. There's a lot of them that are getting close, very close. So we're going to have a lot of these... Uh, pretty soon we can a lot of our blackberries uh, both jamie and joanne have canned a lot of our blackberries in the past uh, or you know making blackberry preserves things for pies uh, jellies things like jams mostly jams and so we have a lot of this actually in stock in our pantry still and so i'm not sure we're going to be doing any any this year uh, usually when we have an abundance of blackberries and hopefully maybe we'll have uh, that this year we'll share them with neighbors have friends come over and they can pick them themselves uh, but I think we've got enough blackberries actually in the pantry that we won't have to do any canning this year. Uh, but it's good always when they come in to have some fresh berries. But also, plus, we have these. Right next door to my garden blackberries, we have wild blackberries. Uh, these do have the thorns on them, but uh, they are good to eat. Uh, the kids love coming out here and chomping on these just alongside uh, the other ones in the garden. Uh, one thing I'll notice, I've noticed over the years is that the insects and the bugs tend to leave these alone. And that is because they have a bit more sour of a taste to them. Uh, whereas uh, the, the berries that you get from my garden, they're much bigger, much sweeter um, uh, than these uh, wild varieties. But either one will, I mean, they're just, they taste delicious. You can can these as well. We have canned these also in the past. We have an abundance of wild blackberries on our homestead. Um, but either way, pinching off the ends of either wild berries or uh, the more cultured manicured berries that you can buy, you can buy in the store and then plant in your garden uh, will help tremendously in getting a, an amazing, an amazing harvest for, for your berries. You know, for putting up for canning or for future use. So there you go. Hope you enjoy the video. If you are growing berries, please leave a comment below. Let us know how your berries are doing, whether it's blueberries, blackberries, whatever berries, strawberries. Uh, we have a number of videos on stuff like that, but I love to know how maybe tips and tricks that you might have to make your berries produce the best that they can produce. Uh, share the information, share the knowledge. All right, guys, be sure to like, subscribe before you go. Uh, I'll see you next time in the homestead. Hey, hey there, thanks for watching our channel. If you're looking for great off-grid homesteading videos, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video you just watched.
You can also feel free to send us your questions by going to anamericanhomestead.com on our contact page and send me your question. Your question might get made into a video. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos. Oh wait, go ahead and click them. Go ahead. <laughs>